today we're going to talk about the production of an R3H because it's a question we do get many times. An R3 consists of a dual apron setup with the option of having a milling beam in it as well and the rotor on that unit is 3.2 tonnes so it carries a lot of weight in it which also gives us excellent inertia. So we can have our plant configured with what we call two high bars and two low bars so that's that blanked off and this can make a huge difference to what I'm looking to produce and the tonnages that we're looking for as well. So in this scenario, in an alluvial situation, which is river rock, if we have a feed size sort of up to 400 mil and we're producing um, a 40 mil, we see typical production rates of 160 tonne an hour up to 210 tonne an hour. If we're producing an AP65, which is a um, zero to 65 mil, that production can go from 180 tonne an hour up to 300 tonnes an hour. So very high production, uh, but the key to it is actually running two fulls and two halves because that large feed size, so it's a 400 rock, you can actually get in the face of the bar for a decent hit. If we're running four bars, that can slow down because the material can almost cartwheel opposite direction to the impactor direction. Now when we come to crushing 20 mil, Typical production numbers we see is more drops a lot down to 90 ton an hour up to 120 tons an hour and our guys will normally use four full bars in that case. Now changing application if we're going to a grey wicky quarry which is a blast material um, and depending on how many fines is actually in that blast some companies will actually remove that fines out because it increases your um, product specification and the broken face of that product as well. But in Grey Wacky, we typically see in 40 mil around about 180 tonne an hour, um, and then in 65 around the 250 tonnes per hour. Um, and in limestone applications, which is a lot easier to crush and very, very low wear, we're seeing higher productions than that. So on 65, can get up to 300 tonnes an hour. Um, on 40 mil, around the 160 to 180 and then in 20, they can easily hover around the 120 tonnes per hour. So I hope that gives us some understanding on this weapon of machine being the R3H. It's only 30 tonnes, but performs well above its weight class. Any questions, please reach out to the team here at Equip2.